<laughs> I was getting you in the shot. It's <laughs> a good start, isn't it? It was. So we're in Newton the Willows oh. in an interesting <laughs> alley, which is the quickest way to get from the train station to the park, which is where the Newton the Willows town show is today. It is. Newton the Willows is Stevie's hometown, by the way. Yeah, I used to knock about in this dodgy alley. Yeah, Stevie knows all about the dodgy alley. <laughs> so we're in the park now, and you can see here we've got lots of stalls. We've got a band playing over there. Lots of stalls of local businesses selling stuff. Um, a few displays from the police and things like that. Lots of places to buy fast food. And over there, we've got a little fun fair going on. And you can even buy some churros, just like Disney World. We'll have a walk around and show you what's going on. Olives over there, Stevie. Like Stevie doesn't like olives. A mystery green tent. What's that? Oh, creepy crawlies and reptiles, Stevie. It sounds right up your street, that one. Oh yeah. Nana, yeah. Nana Carter's does very tasty jams and chutneys and stuff. Well, there's a big crowd at the moment. The cleaning king. Bath bombs. Oh, the bath bombs. Chateau Gatto. Sounds like they sell cakes. It's a very brightly coloured suit and a balloon hat. Traditional Transylvanian treats. Chimney stack cakes. Ooh. Prize every time over there, Stevie. I just end up bringing all of my creepy clown again or something. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, last time you were a creepy clown and it went in the bin when we got home. Sled Dogs Rescue Trust. Yeah. yeah. The husky's all chilling in the back of the van over there. And you can come and meet the sled dogs. Oh, it's the Wicker Man. Of a different kind. Different kind of Wicker Man to our usual videos. He's making lots of sculptures. Yeah, that reindeer is very cool, isn't it? It's on a Halloween and stuff like today. Yeah. To go with the Wicker Man, there's a Wicker Woman. Making lots of sculptures. Very interesting. Got an ice cream van over there. And you got a little booth where you can actually buy a helicopter flight over the town. Costco stall. I've got a Costco locally in uh, Haydock just down the road. And you can sign up to Costco here. A little sweet stall here and a squishy, which I think are these little toys. Yeah. I'm going to be your squishy. Probably not, because I'm probably not buying it. We'll show you some of the food options on the way into the fair. You can get a burger over there. Got baguettes with pork and steak and turkey. There's the churro stall, just like Disney. Got a helter skelter over here. And ghost trains, David. Spooky. Fun house. I don't Lock. trust fun for ghost trains. There's usually accidents inside. Yeah, there's usually some scary bloke jumping out at you. And I'll punch them. They'll just be an instant reaction. I don't mean it. <laughs> The little frog hopper style ride. Which apparently it's got a mini mouse on the top over there. We've got a snow slide. Classic fairground attraction, the twister. It's very loud. Yeah, it's very loud in the fair. Apologies if you can't hear me. <laughs> the little train. That looks fun for the kiddies. The Mexican wave. This been a ride here. Yeah. I don't know, it went backwards. A little Ferris wheel here. Got a Mad Max ride over there. The deluxe waltzer. That looks nice and spinny for Stevie. Got the Tagada over there. Yeah, no way on this earth without <laughs> going on that. A little ice caterpillar. You'll cool see a little roller coaster for the kiddies. Apologies if you couldn't hear us very much while we were showing you around the fun fair. That was so loud. Yeah, it's really loud in there. I think we're getting old. <laughs> you damn kids. Anyway, the um, fun fair looks pretty good. but It is quite pricey though, but they always are. Yeah, it's £3 a ride. 
No, not every ride's three pound. The ride that we wanted to go on was three pound each. That's six quid for like 30 seconds. Yeah. You can pretend to be a fire person and squirt the fires out over there. This is the modern age, DB. It's non gender specific. You want to be a fire person? A fire person. And the little donut stall there, fish and chips, gourmet burgers, the chomp of champs, as Stevie I was just the saying. So chomp of champs. I don't know what it is, but it sounds good. <laughs> so here's the Schnitzel House, which is a little burger van type place, but it's specialising in German food, specifically bratwursts and currywursts. A few nice little options there. Yeah, yeah, got a deli there, you can have a hot pot or a sandwich, or beef brisket, pies and stuff. There's coffee, there's the burgers, there's the chomp of champs. You need to know what the chomp of champs is. It's a range of different world street food. You got British bacon and egg, you got a French rum steak baguette, Jamaican jerk chicken, Mexican chili con carne, Indian roken josh, American pulled pork. And then buggers. What do you fancy? <laughs> I don't know. More choice than you, so. Yeah, there's, there are more food stalls here than in previous years. Yeah. We just spotted that there's stuff going on all up there as well. Last year, that was just where the artillery was and the helicopter landing. Yeah, I didn't even know travelling mini golf was a thing, but apparently yeah. it is here. Oh. Got minions on it. Little minions on it. There's one, yeah, there's one that's a Doctor Who themed hole over there. Oh, that's cool. That's quite interesting, something a bit different. Great for kids, that. Yeah, we've got a paintball range over there. Got monster trucks over there, which we'll be seeing shortly. And World War One like, equipment. Yeah. Then then the up there. Yeah, so some World War One artifacts over here. Last year it was World War Two, and it was a really good display. Of course, it's 100 years this year since the end of World War One. So it's quite a nice commemoration. Do some of the monster trucks here. These will be performing very shortly. And the little mini monster trucks that the kiddies can drive around. That's pretty cool. Actual mini versions of them as well. The actual truck. Oh, yeah, they've got the same decals on them, haven't they? That's pretty cool. Come over to the other side of the arena. It's a little bit less crowded. There's the trucks over there. And over here, there's some cars that are going to get squished in a bit. Poor little cars. It's one of the helicopters doing the helicopter tours. Dramatic. Yeah, right. Nice and loud. The Grim Reaper.
people that have been watching the monster truck show, Stevie. I see so many people. Yeah, it's a really well attended event this year. Plenty of people. The monster trucks were good from what we could see. Yeah. Uh, not their fault at all, but there was an issue with the cooling fan on one of the trucks, so it broke down pretty much right in front of us. Dangerous baby. The fresh from the monster truck. I don't know bit of a cute, but we've got some cheesy brat there. From, is it Schnitzel House? Yeah, the it's Schnitzel called. House. The little... People running that are so friendly, by the way. Yeah. Add us some stitches while we're at the front of the queue. Yeah, it's like a German guy, English wife, you know, obviously doing German sausages and the uh, Schnitzels and stuff. But it looks pretty good. Are you Very enjoying nice. your sausage? Mm. It's a good sausage. I'm going to get stuck into mine as well now. Uh, we've got some cakes. These are from Chateau Gatto, I think. Mm. Or Gatto Chateau, something like that. I think it was shot on I don't know. Yes. <laughs> Stevie's got a scone anyway. Can't get it out. I'm crawling bits. Alan dropped my scone, so it's I didn't a bit drop smushed. it, it slipped a bit. It's a fruit scone with some jam and cream in it. Squash scone. Uh, there you go. It's just like a jam and cream butty. A live reaction here as Stevie eats the scone. Is that nice? Do I have to film me for eating my flapjack? Meanwhile, I'm waiting to eat my flapjack. I have to wait, I have to watch Stevie eat a whole scone before I can have any of my flapjack. Sped up scone eating. Nom nom nom. Little Billy. And Alan with a flapjack. Yeah, Hello, Alan with a flapjack. Delicious peanut butter flapjack. Keep walking out of the shop. <laughs> mm. Full of peanutty goodness. From the same place as well as the scone. Yeah. Chateau, Gatto, Gatto, Chateau. <laughs> You're just nodding. Is that a good nod? Or a, is that okay nod? Good nod. <laughs> good nod. Good nod. Good nod. Num num num. It tastes like a Snickers cross with a flat jacket today, isn't it? Nana Carter's, where we got some jam last year. It's very tasty. It was tasty. So we're gonna get some more jam, I think. I'm going. I'll try some of that. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll try some of that. I might convince you. You'll have some more. Yeah. Really lemon. It's lovely in porridge. It's lovely in porridge. It's lovely with granola as well. So granola, you'll get fruit for breakfast. What do you think? Can I have? Lemon lime curd, a chili jam, and a lemon and lime curd with a bit of Greek yogurt and a blueberry. I'll even eat a blueberry. Ooh. You don't like fruit though? Yeah. Blueberries quite nice. <laughs> Converted Alan to blueberries. A few of some of the different jams and chutneys that we got. Thank you very much indeed. Enjoy. Which one is it you trying? Damson, Guinness and Coco. Ooh. <laughs> you look confused. Interesting. <laughs> taste of Guinness, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I can have to taste of Guinness. You like Guinness though, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I might get a jar of that. Go for it. And Stevie wanted to show you the Jara jam that we got from Nana Carter's. Uh, Nana Carter's here every year. We found the last time we came. Was it a year ago or two years? I think it was a year ago, wasn't it? Uh, I think it was last year, yeah. Because yeah. we, we filmed last year. And the jams that she does that are amazing. Yeah, it's so lovely, interesting flavours, aren't they? Look at the cute little jar, it's so cute. Yeah. All handmade. Hand jarred and everything. Hand, hand jarred. Hand jarred. <laughs> Oh, they are lovely though, but we let Alan pick the shirt because I picked three last year. Yeah. I'm not sure if you'll like that because there is a bit of a taste. Um, <laughs> give it a go, have it on I'll some toast. It, yeah. It's nice, the Morris dancers are getting little kids involved. Lots of classic cars here, a Stevie that was wandering off, but over here we've got a range of electric vehicles, including, yeah, this Tesla with gull wings, that's really cool. It's like a plane. Aye. It's a very nice looking Tesla. 
Look at this tractor here. The old Lamb Rover next to it. The old BMW. That's not that old, it's like 1995 that one. Is this an old Jag? Yeah, Jaguar Mark II. It's pretty nice. Stevie's favourite is the little chimney sweep car. That's so cute. Mr. Coles Hill, the chimney sweep. Does it remind you of Brum? Reminds me of Mary Poppins. Yeah, that sort of era. This car looks like a blue version of Jasper and Horace's car. Please tell me you know just Oh, in uh, 101 Dalmatian. Yes. Oh, oh, there we go. I'm so amazed, well done. Yeah. <laughs> I do feel like it's like a kind of car. Yeah, it does a bit, doesn't it? I might be wrong, I'm not good with cars, but it looks like that to me. The timing's right. Oh, how oh, weird does that look with the bonnet on? That's an interesting way of getting inside the engine. Engine bay. Futuristic. I know it's not, but it does. That's mad. <laughs> Are you baffled? Are you baffled? Oh, front of the car. <laughs> Never seen you look so confused. It's amazing. <laughs> Robo Meerkat will enslave us all, Stevie. Oh no, not Robo Meerkat. More chitty chitty bang bang style cars for Stevie. Yeah, you got the. It's got a chicken on it. Oh yeah. <laughs> like the chicken. Yeah. That's funky, funky chicken. Stevie thinks this one's a proper baddies car for the Mafia. 1934 Austin Carl Carlton Saloon. 1934 Stevie. It's like a pub in the world. It's also a type of car. Saloon. <laughs> well, we got home from Newton Town Show, all extra crispy from the sun. And totally forgot to do a closing video for this vlog so this is it it's, it was a really really good day at newton town show the monster trucks were really interesting to see it was a shame about one of them breaking down right in the line of the shot so we didn't couldn't really see the bit where they were jumping over the cars and stuff but we sort of saw the landings it's a shame we couldn't see more but there was another show later on in the day but we didn't have time to get to that as well with everything else that was going on absolutely loads to see there definitely recommend going in future if you're in the area if you live locally to newton the willows it's kind of central between liverpool and manchester definitely worth checking it out they do have it it's a regular annual event and it's always on the first saturday in august so put that in your diary for 2019 if you're local and you may see us there because we're there pretty much every year in fact we've been every year since they rebooted the festival a few years ago but anyway hope you've enjoyed this video Make sure you hit that subscribe button to follow our adventures and we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.